Oh my god, come on. Oh! Hello everyone and happy almost Christmas. Since it is close to the big day, I thought I would make some Christmas themed cocktails and mocktails and just general drinks. And I'm sure I've got people watching who don't celebrate Christmas, so don't worry. I'm pretty sure you can make these drinks just as a winter drink or you could turn it into something that you do celebrate. It doesn't have to be about Christmas, it's just a drink. Also, I'm gonna be making alcoholic drinks and I'm also gonna be making non-alcoholic drinks because I do know that I've got some subscribers who don't drink. And you know, that's fine. I'm, I'm not gonna judge, you do you. No, actually, you're very responsible. Congratulations. And I'm getting all of these recipes from BBC Good Food. They have 26 Christmas cocktail and mocktail ideas. And I'm not making 26, I'm making seven. Actually, I'm only making six because I couldn't find the ingredients yesterday when I was at the shops for one of them. So at the end, I'm just gonna make a random drink from whatever crap I've got lying around. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so the first cocktail I'm gonna be making is a Clementine Martini, which just sounds delightful. It sounds very fancy. And this is one I had to do some preparation the night before. So it's a time consuming cocktail. So I just started by adding a shot of vodka, just a single, not a double. And also a shot of Contra, again, a single, not a double. And then juice two Clementines as well. And then put that into the jug too. And then all I did was left that in the fridge overnight. So we've got our little mixture here and it smells absolutely delicious. It smells so good. And by the way, I forgot to mention because I'm very sporadic today. I don't know what's wrong with us. Everything. I'm gonna be giving these cocktails a rating between five candy canes and one candy cane. Five candy canes meaning that they're really nice or one candy cane meaning that they're really shit. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with us today. For some reason, I've got the giggles. It's probably because I keep f***ing up my lines. Okay, so I've got my mixture here and the instructions told me to put a martini glass in the freezer and I don't have a martini glass because I'm not a fancy little bitch but I did have a Christmas themed wine glass and I did put that in the freezer overnight but it's defrosted now because I've been talking for so long. Okay, so I need a slice of clementine as garnish and that goes in here first. So I'll chop a slice of this off, pop you in there. Right, so I fill this almost halfway with our little concoction. Oh. Perfect amount. Actually, let's try that how it is. Oh. 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 Oh, that's nice on its own. Oh, I like that. I don't want to ruin it now. And then I need to top up with some Prosecco. And I hate Prosecco. I hate it so much. I bought some fancy stuff as well. This was £11. I was going to buy a £5 bottle, but I was like, no, I want to give it a fighting chance. How the hell do you open these? Oh, no. It's one of them that, like, explodes. This could be a disaster. Oh, I don't like this. People put their eyes out doing this, you know. I'm going to get a tea towel because I can't get it off. I say a tea towel. It's just like a paint rag. I'm not letting it go everywhere. I don't want to tidy it up. Oh my god, come on. Oh, oh, oh. It scared us. Didn't go everywhere though. I know for a fact I've probably played that in slow motion, which will make me look like a right arse. Let's just try it. It's disgusting. Ugh. So top this up. Okay, let's try it. See if it was worth all the effort. That's actually quite nice. I think it could do with a little bit more alcohol. It's a little bit weak, but mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I do like that. It was worth the effort. It's nothing amazing, but it, it does taste nice. And I do like orange as a flavor. So with that being said, I'm going to give this one four candy canes out of five. It would have gotten five if it had more alcohol in. Okay, so the next Christmas slash winter themed Christmas drink, what I'm gonna be making is a dark and stormy coffee cocktail. And I've never had a dark and stormy. So I'm interested to see what this tastes like. It has tequila, so I think I'm gonna enjoy it. So this does need espresso, but I don't have an espresso machine. So we're gonna improvise and I'm gonna just do some instant coffee. I've got my little heat and pan thing here. Hopefully I don't set anything on fire. Just add a little bit of coffee and then just a tiny bit of water put you on there right so I need ice in this good job I've got a bucket of ice and now it's 25 mils of dark rum I just bought this cheap shit from Tesco because I don't like rum it's not my favorite so one shot of that in you go and one shot of tequila as well Top with ginger beer. And I also can't stand ginger beer as well, so I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this. 
two tablespoons of freshly brewed espresso, but I'm gonna give it, I think I might do three. Okay, that was very easy to make. I will give it that. It smells quite nice. All right, let's give it a stir and a taste. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Ah, oh, that's horrible. I don't like that at all. It's the ginger beer. It's burning. I can taste the coffee. I can't taste the tequila, which is very disappointing. All I can taste is ginger beer and coffee. And the ginger beer is so strong. No, nah. I don't like that one. I'm giving that one one candy cane out of five. If you like ginger beer, you would love that but it's, it's not for me at all. Okay, so the next festive Christmas drink is actually a non-alcoholic one, and I'm gonna be making a nutmeg and orange Christmas coffee. And I am gonna have to improvise because it wants you to have a cafetiere, and I don't own a cafetiere. So I'm just gonna do it all in the saucepan and then strain it, and that'll be good enough. It needs four tablespoons of ground coffee. Oh wait, no, it doesn't need four. It needs one. I need to remember I'm only doing it for one person. So one spoonful of coffee and then one cinnamon stick. And you have to add a pitted date. And I looked all over in Tesco for these and I finally found them. And it says high in fiber. So this is a coffee that's gonna just make you shit even more. And I only need one of these, but I had to buy a giant bag. Oh, they look horrible. Actually, it just kind of looks like a massive coffee bean. I might eat these later, actually. I just don't want it to give us the runs. Right, so there's my pitted date in there. One clove, a pinch of ground nutmeg. Oops, I think that was a bit too much. So 100 mils of water. And then some orange zest. And I've only got a potato peeler, I don't have an orange zester. I swear these websites think everyone has like all this fancy equipment and who does who, well, I can imagine some people out there will have a cafetiere, but like a zester for an orange. She's a potato peeler. I'm gonna add a bit more because it's supposed to be like an orange flavored coffee. And I think if I only added one little bit, it wouldn't be very orangey. This is the zest, isn't it? Like the skin. Yeah, it is. I'm sure it is. All right, now we turn this on high. I'm enjoying this little electric hob I bought specifically for this video. It was worth it. I need to bring this to the boil and let it steep for four minutes and then push down on my plunger, which means I'm just going to sieve it. I'll sit back and check some emails while that's hard at work. I say check emails. I'm just going to scroll through social media. Doesn't smell nice yet. I feel like this needs more water to make a full cup of coffee. Do I add milk? Because I drink my coffee with milk. No, I don't. I just drink it black. That's fine. Apparently this only has 13 calories in as well. So if you're healthy then, this might be right for you. Okay, I think this mixture is ready to go and it does smell absolutely amazing. I can really smell the cinnamon. It's very strong. I'm not sure what the pitted date does though, because does a pitted date really have much like flavor? I don't know whether it does. And I'm just gonna use my mug that I had my coffee in this morning because, you know, it saves on the washing. And I'm just gonna strain this mixture out. I think this is gonna be quite strong. It's a little bit too hot too. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water in, just a little bit of cool water. Surprisingly, I can smell the orange as well. I didn't think I was going to. I can smell everything apart from obviously the pitted date. It's strange, it does taste like Christmas. It doesn't taste like coffee anymore. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it to be fair. I think it's a little bit strong actually. It's also a little bit bitter. Let me add some milk, see if that makes it better. I'm just gonna add a splash of oat milk. That didn't even turn it a different color. No, I don't know whether I like that. I'm gonna give this one two candy canes out of five. I think if you really like a strong Christmas festive flavor, you would like this, but it's very overpowering, it is like, smacks you in the face. It is a lot. I think I would just rather have a normal cup of coffee. Okay, so the next Christmas cocktail I thought I would make is the pomegranate rosemary spritzer. And this one again, you need a hob. They seem to enjoy heating ingredients up. First, I need to add 50 milliliters of pomegranate juice. And a sprig of rosemary. Now I found a little small one, perfect. And now we need to bring that to a boil and turn it into a syrup. This is gonna take a few minutes, isn't it? Ah, oh, well, I'll just finish off my clementine martini, I may as well. The thing is, I've been boiling this for about 10 minutes now and it hasn't turned into a syrup yet. It says reduce for a few mins until syrupy. What does that mean? Oh, maybe it is turned syrup because it's it's like disappeared. Oh, maybe I should stop. I'm gonna stop because otherwise I'm not gonna have anything left. Take it off. I've got nowhere to put it. 
I'll just put on my table. I haven't got a lot of syrup at all. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more pomegranate juice to this because otherwise it's not gonna taste of anything. I think I've done it all wrong. So this one says I need a champagne flute, but again, I'm not fancy enough to own champagne flutes, so I've just got a regular glass. And it says not to add ice, but I'm gonna add ice because I think it'll make it taste better. And then all we do is add our syrup, well, syrup, because it hasn't turned into a syrup at all. It was just disappearing. See, it says fill it one part with pomegranate syrup. I'm gonna add a little bit more pomegranate juice because it all just disappeared. I don't know where it went. It obviously went into the air. And then top it up with some Prosecco again. Ah! And then garnish with another sprig of rosemary. There we go. Right, cheers. See what this tastes like. I don't think I'm gonna like this one. I'm gonna be honest with you because I don't like pomegranate juice. I don't like Prosecco. And that's basically what it is. That's not bad. Ooh, that, that is delightful. Oh, that's really good. Here's me slagging something off saying I don't like something. You should never say that until you've tried it. It's just very refreshing. I wouldn't call it a Christmas drink or a winter drink or anything. I think it's more of a summer drink actually. Oh, that's good. I like that one. Oh, I like that one a lot. Give me, give me another drink. That's gonna get five candy canes out of five. I might have made it wrong. In fact, I know I've made it wrong, but I like what I've made. That was nice. So for the next Christmas cocktail, I'm gonna be making a vermouth and soda. And this looks like it's gonna be the easiest one to make out of all of them. So I need a glass with ice. And when it comes to cocktails, you can't have too much ice. And then I need 50 mils of vermouth. And I bought this white one. It's from Italy, apparently. And I've never actually tried vermouth before. So I'm just gonna have a little taste. Is it just wine? I don't really know what it is. Oh, uh, yum, yum. That's not wine. That's sweet. That's so sweet. Ah, oh, it is wine. Aromatized wine from Italy. Perfect for cocktails or over ice. I actually don't mind that. It's quite strong though. It's 14.7%. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's nice actually. Okay, right. Stop drinking all the drink. Uh, 50 mils. And then 200 mils of sparkling water. I don't know whether this cocktail is going to be very, like, flavorful. I need a lemon wedge to garnish. And green olives. Three of these. I was supposed to buy cocktail sticks, but I forgot. So they're just going to be floating around in my cocktail. Oh, doesn't that look classy? Okay, so that one was really easy to make. Very easy. So let's hope it tastes nice. Tastes all right. It doesn't have much flavor. It just tastes like really icy water. I can't really taste much of the vermouth. Let me just add a little bit more. I don't think they add enough alcohol. I feel like the BBC's just like cheaping out on the booze. Ah, it's a little nicer with a bit more alcohol. Ah, that's all right, actually. Weirdly, it feels like it's got like a vanilla flavor to it or something. And the lemon wedge is nice. I can taste the lemon coming through. That's all right, actually. Not amazing. It's not gonna blow my mind. If I woke up on Christmas day and someone greeted us with one of these, which you're more than welcome to do, I'd be very happy. I would not throw it in their face. I'll give it three candy canes out of five. Not offensive at all, but doesn't blow my mind either. Okay, so this next one, I think everyone is gonna enjoy it. It's a peppermint hot chocolate, and it sounds amazing. I'm really excited, I can't wait. And it doesn't even have any alcohol in, and I'm already excited about it. So I'm just gonna take some chocolate and break it up. I'm not measuring it because I don't know where my scales are, but I don't think you can go wrong with a hot chocolate. Like, too much chocolate? I uh, don't think so. And then I need 100 grams of milk, and I'm just using oat milk because I do try to cut down on dairy when I can, even though I have just used full dairy chocolate, but it doesn't really matter. Ah, it says 150 mils of double cream. I'm just gonna add a generous amount of cream to it. A hot chocolate can't be too creamy, how weird. I could drink this pot of cream. It does say to add some sugar to add taste, but I'm not gonna add any sugar to it because I think it's gonna be sweet enough. I find it strange when people add sugar to the hot chocolate. Like I used to work in the restaurant, we'd serve hot chocolates and people had asked for sugar and I'm like, why? It's already sweet. So we just basically boil this together. Oh my God. Oh, this is so good. And don't worry, the peppermint comes in in a bit. I feel like it could do with more chocolate. No, I'm just gonna stick with it. I'm just gonna keep it how it is. Okay, it's starting to boil now, so I wanna turn it off. And now you want it super hot because we're gonna pour it into a mug. And I've got a Starbucks mug that I may or may not have stolen from Starbucks. And we're just gonna pour it in. 
and then what you do is add a candy cane to the outside and stir your hot chocolate with it and then the candy cane is supposed to melt in it and that's supposed to give you a peppermint hot chocolate. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm just hoping that this candy cane actually melts and gives it some flavour, otherwise there's no point. It doesn't feel like it's melting. Let's have a taste, see what it's like. Oh, it's really hot actually. Oh, oh that's just delightful. Oh my god, that is so good. I can't taste the peppermint yet because it hasn't fully melted because I just couldn't wait, but oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That is just everything and anything that I've ever wanted in my entire life. And then you can suck the candy cane as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like Nigella Lawson or something. I'm just making this very sexual. I have a real thing about sizable cock because I like the depth. It's what you put in that makes a difference. I'm sorry about that. So with that being said, I'm definitely going to have to give this one five candy canes out of five. It could be a little bit more pepperminty. So maybe he's had some like essence of peppermint while you're mixing it. Or maybe there's a candy cane in there. But other than that, it's just great. Okay, so the final cocktail that I was supposed to make in this video was a classic snowball. But when I went to the shop yesterday, I couldn't find Advocat anywhere. I really tried and I tried two different stores. It just, it wasn't there. So instead, I'm just going to make my own cocktail. And it's going to be titled, and slap in the face. And you have to have the slap sound effect and the motion when you say it, otherwise it doesn't count. So it's, and slap in the face. And we're going to start off with a glass full of ice to the top. And this is a very easy cocktail to make as well. It's not, it's not difficult, you can do it at home. You don't need to boil anything or any of that crap. And all it is, is a double shot of tequila. In fact, it's a triple shot of tequila. Topped up with an energy drink of your choosing. So I'm going to go for a monster energy drink, but you could go for a Red Bull. You could go for an own brand supermarket energy drink. It doesn't really matter. And then just fill that all the way to the top. And because to make a classic snowball, I needed some maraschino cherries. I couldn't find maraschino cherries when I was at the shop, but I had already bought some glacier cherries. And I was going to use them for the snowball, but instead I'm going to use it for my cocktail. And all you want to do is add three glacier cherries on. And then you also want to eat one for yourself because they're so nice. Oh, mm, they're so good. And there we have it, and, and slap in your face. Now this isn't a tested recipe or anything, I've literally just made this up, so hopefully it tastes great. I'm sure it will, it's got tequila in. Oh, that, oh that's strong. Oh, oh, that's very strong. It's probably the only cocktail today that's actually tasted of alcohol. You know the kind of drink where you drink it a little bit and you ju you just makes you feel drunk straight away? That's the kind of drink it is, which makes it great. Delicious. Five candy canes out of five, of course, obviously, because it's my creation. But that does it for today's video of making some Christmas slash winter slash festive holiday drinks and cocktails and all of that kind of stuff. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments which cocktail you think you would prefer the most or if you've ever tried one. I would 100% recommend the and slap in your face. And I know the next video for double December uploads will be on Christmas Day. So I'll see you then, but if not, if you're busy with obviously Christmas and family stuff and whatnot, then I'll see you at another time. But it will be going up on Christmas Day at 7 o'clock. But if I don't see you then, I hope you have an absolutely lovely Christmas or a lovely holiday season, whatever it is you're celebrating. I hope you really enjoy yourself, but I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye! Mm -hmm. And then juice chew... <laughs> chew? <laughs> and then juice two... <laughs> And put that into the mixture. <laughs> and then put that into the mixture. No. I'm going to be giving each of these cocktails a rating out of five candy canes. Five? No. I'm going to be... I'm going to be rating these cocktails. No. I'm going to be giving these... I'm going to be giving these drinks a rating. No. I'm going to be giving these... I can't talk. Uh... Just take a breath, just chill out and what's going on? I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be rating these cocktails out... I'm gonna be rating these cocktail... No. I'm gonna be giving these cocktails either a five candy cane rating... No. I'm having a mental breakdown already. It's too soon. It's too soon for that.